Hello, hello, Al Ingalls here. I've got my pressure-free planner out here. Quarter two is coming to an end. Quarter three is gonna start soon. And um, yesterday's quote I thought was kind of interesting. It's from Margaret Bork White, the photographer. And I remember my mother um, picking up a book about Margaret Bork White when I was a student at the University of Michigan. She thought that um, this woman would be kind of a heroine for me. And so she gave me a book about her life. Uh, so here's the quote. Work is something you can count on. A trusted lifelong friend who never deserts you. And then I want to read my little passage today for you. You can notice how important it is to work when you have no work. Work provides meaning and purpose in our lives. There are many interesting studies about early retirement and mortality rates. Although findings differ, some factors have emerged. Work provides social interaction, a reason to get out of bed, a reason to move your body so that you are not too sedentary, and less time to smoke or drink. When you are passionate about your work, it can fuel you and actually help you stay pressure free. If you plan to retire early, what gifts and talents would you start to employ next? Work of any kind can keep you healthy, happy, and on purpose. I've, I've seen a lot of articles lately about people um, leaving their jobs, not wanting to go back to their jobs um, now that things are changing um, for a lot of people. Um, and uh, something that's been coming up in my mind so often is I think about my grandparents and how they had no choice but to work pretty much until the very last five years of their life, five, seven years of their life, they were still working. My grandfather's final job, I mean, he had been a lumberjack and a farmer for a Harvard College professor who had a farm up in New Hampshire. Um, he had worked on the Empire State Building, building it. Um, he made all kinds of jobs in his lifetime. In his last job, he was the handyman at the hospital up in um, North Conway, New Hampshire, where a lot of skiers break their legs. <laughs> and my grandmother was um, the, one of the housekeepers taking care of cleaning all the rooms. And the, those were their last jobs before they um, sold their home, got a little camping trailer, and went back and forth to Florida. And um, they, they worked really hard the, their whole lives. And, and work was not an option. Um, it, was, it was something you did. <laughs> I also, they were real role models for me in the sense that my grandparents um, did all of the housework and the chores together in the house together. So they, um, when the washing machine was done, they would go out together and hang the clothes up on the clothesline. And then later when they were dry, they would take them in and fold them together. Um, they, they did so much, to, they cooked their meals together. They cleaned up after the meals together. Um, I just thought it was really interesting. I mean, they were born in like 1910, I wanna say. Um, 1909, somewhere in there. And yet they did they did everything together as a couple, um, even ending up their work together in the same workplace. Um, they drove, to, they had one car, you know, so they drove together and they drove home together. <laughs> it was a really beautiful relationship for me to see when I was growing up. But um, I'm curious, you know, what does work mean to you? And um, how are you, um, are you looking to retire early? Are you looking to work a long time in your life? As a performing musician, you know, I always said, I'm, I'm never retiring. Like, it, this is never until I can't play anymore, or can't um, compose music or conduct or whatever it is I'm gonna do next. And now with Pressure Free, it's like I have no, it, no thought of that even crosses my mind because I feel like I'm just beginning. I feel like I'm in my 20s and I'm just beginning this whole new career and this whole new deal. And I, I have so many big dreams for Pressure Free. So when you are fired up about your work and when you're passionate about it, um, you know, it just becomes a whole different animal, much as it was for Margaret Bork White. So her photography was her work and um, it, was, it was very consuming for her. So I'm curious, so my hair is really goofy, isn't it? <laughs> it's late at night, right? Don't worry about that. So I'm really curious, like what does work mean for you? Do you love your work? Do you wish you could change up what you're doing? Um, and when you can find that thing that really fires on your gifts and talents, it can be so, so enlightening and so cool. Um, so that's my, my little thought today for you is um, 
And again, this line that um, work can fuel you. And when you're on a mission and on a path, it's often the case that you will trigger less over the little things. You know, they say don't sweat the small stuff. But when you're passionate about your work and you're really on point, what I see with my clients and with others is that they're not letting small things trigger them because you're so on mission that you really want to see this thing through or see it to completion or, or it's just one step on this next path. So those are my thoughts about, about work. Um, I've always worked pretty hard, like always had more than one job and just work, 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 work. <laughs> so, so I, I love it. Um, uh, but everybody has a little different feeling about it. I've, I've had friends who've retired really early. Um, and unfortunately for my father, he retired at 70, I want to say 72, um, and, and passed away at 73. He had a lot of hobbies, but he lost his wife and that was the real thing for him. He loved my mom a lot, and um, but that was really sad to me that he only had like a couple, one or two years of retirement, and then um, that happens to a lot of people. Though it's like one of their main purposes is now gone, and so um, so work has uh, a really important um, place in our lives. And I'm curious, like, what your work is? Do you love your work? Do you want to change it up? Um, and what 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 is it? What does it mean to you? to be working. I, I still remember my first paycheck from my paid gig. It was to play the Messiah for the University Musical Society in Hill Auditorium with very famous singers. And um, I was in the second violin section. Um, it was my first paycheck for playing my violin. And uh, what was your first paycheck? Like what was the first time you earned money um, that wasn't from like a relative but you, you went out there and you did a job and you got a paycheck. Uh, that can have a lot of meaning for us and, um, and also set, set the course of our life sometimes because we, we start some work and that's what we end up doing for quite a while. So a great pressure-free night and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.